It's 50 years since a vintage plane was lost in rugged South Westland, taking with it a pioneering young pilot and four tourists. It's become known as New Zealand's greatest aviation mystery. But as Anna Olikin reports, it's just one of many flights lost without trace in the Deep South. This old tiger moth is around the same vintage as a dragonfly, a plane not here, but on everyone's mind. Dragonfly AFB took off on a what was to be a routine flight to Milford Sound and, and never arrived. Pilot Captain Brian Chadwick died along with Elwyn and Valerie Saville, Daryl Shields and Lewis Rowan. Lewis was a vital part of our family, a very outgoing sort of a fellow and and uh, couldn't believe that something like this could happen and we just thought that, you know, they would turn up. But the Dragonfly isn't the only aircraft lost in the Deep South. Five more have gone missing in an area spanning from Haas to Milford Sound and Mount Aspiring. Some call it New Zealand's own Bermuda Triangle. They date back to 1978 when the Riversdale community mourned the loss of four men. Searchers again scoured Fiordland later that year for seven aboard a Piper Cherokee. A North Island family of four was lost in 1983 and in 97 another Cessna pilot went missing. Two more died in a helicopter crash in 2004 and all 23 lost without trace. At the moment it's one of the great mysteries of New Zealand. Teams still scour this terrain for clues. The conditions in there is absolutely horrific. You can, you can spend some places 10 minutes going probably 10 feet. Today, a jet from the Dragonfly era, a de Havilland vampire, flew over in tribute. Marking one mystery among many, now half a century old. Anna Olikin, One News.